Wally, you're on the air. Is this Wally? Yes. Hi, Wally. This is Mike from Orange County. Yes, Mike. I'd like to know why you have fake hair. Oh, uh, get off. Another. You see? You know what? Uh, give me one more real nice caller, and then we'll take a break. Yes, uh, Wally. Yes. Um, about a week ago, I had written you a letter. Well, first of all, let me introduce myself to you. Uh, my name is B.J. Gooberslobber II. Get off my show, B.J. Gooberslobber, you stupid idiot. I'll bet you do slobber all over your goober. Hello? Who's this? Jeff from Los Angeles. What's on your mind, Jeff? Uh, I'd just like to uh, know um, when you're going to show everybody that you're going to lose that wig. Uh, <laughs> that ain't cute, buddy boy. It certainly isn't. Gone. Six years. Six years I've been sitting here doing these shows, the hotline and hot seat. Six years I've been sitting here and for six years, you idiots out there have nothing better to do than call up and say, Hey, Wally, when are you going to get rid of that wig? You know, you, you have no imagination, no originality. First of all, the only reason you say that is everybody at home, every guy looks at my hair, and they get so envious and so jealous that I could have such beautiful... Make the slightest difference to me it makes a lot of difference to me because i have a beautiful head of hair look at that hair look at that hair beautiful and these and these idiots are so jealous oh, wally? yes you're on the air hey wally um hi wally you got get him off of here the guy abs obviously obviously has fried his brains for the last four or five years, the guy obviously has to be put in an institution. Hello, you're on the air. Hello, Wally. Yes. How you doing? Pretty good. Did you know that the drying of blood to the capillaries can lead to partial or total impotence? Yeah, uh, yes, I did, and I'm sorry that you have that problem. Better luck next time. <laughs> yeah, okay. Hello? Who is that? Hello, you're on the air. Hi, Wally. This is Mike DeMone from Santa Ana. Yes, Mike. Okay. okay, make a note, guys. We have a little, uh, a little edit to do right there because some idiot wanted to get filthy. You see, don't you understand, you idiots? You can't get filthy on this program. We just edit you out. But I'll tell you what this moron just said will never go over the air. But I, wa I have a little, a little message for you. You filthy degenerate, I dare you to come down to these studios and say what you just said to my face, and I'll break every bone in your stupid body. I dare you. Come on down here and face me. But you'll never do it, you spineless little cowardly degenerate wimp. People are so brave when they call me on the phone. This guy, if he faced me face to face, he would be trembling in his pink panties. H Hello, Ollie. This is George from Brea. Yes, George from Brea. Yes, I, I want to say firstly that I agree with 99.9% .9 of the things you stand for. Good. But I disagree with your impotence. Oh, uh, well, I disagree with your sanity. Hello, you're on the air. Hello. I am not afraid. Well, I'm not either. Let's just put the next caller on. I, I'm not afraid of any of these stupid idiots. Next caller, you're on the air. Hello? 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 Talk to me. Hello, Wally? Who's this? This is Ted from Santa Ana. What's on your mind today? Uh, do you agree, as I do, that George Bush's first move should be to uh, work on your impotence? Oh. You know, I'm really getting sick of you idiots. I'm getting, you know, Will you stop talking about your physical problems on my show? Get out and stop bugging me, you idiots. Let's call her. You're on the air. Hello? Hello? Yeah, who's this? Is this Wally? Who is this? This is Dave Scheffler. What do you want to talk about, Dave? Uh, well, I just want to talk about the, <clears throat> the show uh, on today. Well, what about it? Uh... You're, you're saying you agree with the capital punishment. I just want to say I agree with you. Well, thank you for telling us that. That was really nice of you to do that. Let's go to the next caller. Hello, you're on the air. Hello? Yes. Who is this? Who's this? This is Mike. What do you want to talk about, Mike? I want to talk about uh, 
uh, Ted Bundy's last words before he, he got... What were his last words? What's that? What were his last words? Ah. Why, you wet-nosed, walking, weenie roaster. I know what my last words are going to be to you. I can't say them off the air, but I'll tell you on the phone if you want to call me personally. I'll give you f some famous last words. Huh? I'll sizzle your stupid little brain. I'd well, like to know what you think about the new insurance law in California and if it is constitutional or not. Because... Hold it! Uh, I'll tell you what I think, nitwit. I think you have to be put in a padded cell by 5 o'clock this evening. By about quarter hour. I think you're a danger to be walking the streets. Hello. It's Wally. Who's this? This is Wally George, the idiot. You know what you are, numbskull? Don't bother me. Don't bother me. Right. You are a twit. Now, of course, you being an idiot, brain dead, will probably not know what this is. So go and ask Mommy. Mommy, what is a twit? And when she tells you, you'll know that's what you are. Have a nice day. Hey, go out and lie out in the rain for a while. Go out and lie in the gutter for several hours. You'll love it. You'll love it. Hello, you're on the air. Hello. Let's go to the caller. Hello. Hello, this is Charlie Dan from El Toro. What's on your mind, Charlie? Hi, uh, real quickly, me and my wife wanted to make a comment to you. What about? Uh, originally, the problem was not that important until the liberal media blew it way out of proportion. Well, what problem? Your impotence. Ah, oh, get off. Get off, you. <laughs> You're out of here, dude. You imbecilic dweeb. <laughs> Let's go with that with Wally. Go ahead. Hi, Wally. This is Steve from Fountain Valley. How you doing? Pretty good. What's on your mind today? Hey, I was wondering what preschool you're sending your kid to. Uh... <laughs> Speaking of preschool, uh, any year now, you're going to be old enough to go there. Any year now. Hey, I think it's time for a diaper change. Better run to mommy. Huh? Yes, Rick, what's on your mind today? I want to comment on your commentary about Jessica Hahn. Well, what do you think about that bimbo? <laughs> well, I, first of all, I agree she's a bimbo, but I think it just goes to show your impotence. Yeah, well, oh, jeez. You and Jessica deserve each other. Bob Boucher? Yes, Bob. Yeah, hi there. I just want to get your feelings. And what do you speculate or foresee how the situation will change? Where? Excuse me? What situation? Your impotence. Oh, uh, get off. I, why did I ask him? I, I think we can, we can lose the phone number now. Why did I ask him? I should have known this was, a, this was an idiot. I, I walked right into that. I'm not mad at you. I'm mad at myself for, for being dumb enough not to sense from your idiotic voice that you were a perverted, stupid, nitwit dweeb. I'm hungry. Well, I don't care. Next caller, hello, you're on the air. Hello? Yes, who's this? Hi, this is um, John from Lakewood. John from Lakewood. How old are you, John? I am 18. No, you're not, John. Get off the air. Nobody lies to Wally. I know an 18-year-old voice when I hear one. That voice is about 12. Hello, you're on with Wally. Hello. Hi. Who's this? Hello. Hi. Hello, who is this? Um, this is Rich. Um, you're off. Next caller, I hate it when they say um. That really gets me. Always gives them away as being complete, idiotic, brain-dead morons. Hello, you're on the air. Hello. Wally? Yeah, who's this? Um, yeah, this is John from Warren. I can hardly hear you. Can I have a, a little more in my ear here? Yes, go ahead. Um, yeah. Yeah, that's fine. Um, I was just, uh, wondering if the rumor that your wife... Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, have you heard the rumors about you? Have you heard your rumors? I've heard a lot of rumors about you, sweetheart. I hear that you have a beautiful little, uh, pink pad in West Hollywood. And I also hear that you wear pink underpants. Is that true? We've heard a lot about you, pal, and your eyeshadow and your false eyelashes. <laughs> Talk about rumors. The whole town is talking about you, pervert. Right, Jeff? Right. Jeff knows all about you. We know your voice. 